what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, so today it's gonna be part two of uh, the review of the GR Corolla I just finished washing it it's right here in the garage as you can see in here uh, so today we're gonna do part two um, like I said and we're gonna do the interior we're gonna review the interior I'm gonna share my thoughts um, concerns anything that I may see wrong with it or anything that I don't like everything that I do like um, and yeah hope you like my thoughts and if not drop it in the comments below let me know what you think if you disagree with me if you agree with me just reach out let's have a let's have a chat all right guys so we're in the car uh, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the seat because uh, that's where we spend most of our time in the car is seated and you know driving um, I've taken this car actually on a road trip up to Daytona. It's about a three hour drive roughly for me. Um, and it's comfortable, honestly, no complaints. There was no need to like adjust or anything like that or no back pains, no, not none of that. Like when I got out the car after three hours. Uh, I like the seat. I like how comfortable it is. There's, there's, It's not like stiff somewhere or anything like that. Um, the only complaint is that um, when you're driving a little bit you know hard um you kind of well me personally i'm i guess a smaller a smaller guy um you kind of move like side to side and you kind of have to hold on you know um but besides that yeah, i feel like it's it's good you know there's probably no need to go a little bit more aggressive as far as like the side bolsters here because uh, I feel like if it was like too tight, it would probably be um, not good for a majority of the people, you know. They have to make it like an in-between, not too tight, but not too loose. Uh, that way they can uh, market or they can sell to a, a broader uh, range of people. While we're on the topic of the seat. Um, I have seen some videos or reviews where people are like, oh, this car should have gotten electric seats. The XSC got electric seats. Why didn't uh, the GR Corolla get electric seats on any of the trim models, really? Um, and the simple answer for me is uh, weight. Weight and performance. Less weight means more performance. Um, and I know it, it might not weigh a lot, you know, to put electric seats, like it might be a few pounds, but every pound counts. And I don't know, I feel like, you know, with, there's no big difference in you, um, adjusting your seat by lifting a lever, then pushing a button and it moves. It's just, I guess at that point, it's just, the uh, creature comforts, I guess. Not really, um, to each their own, some some like electric seats i don't mind not having electric seats um but overall i feel like this car has what it needs on the interior just as simplistic as possible <clears throat> you got your radio you got your ac you got a couple buttons that you can adjust um you know sport mode traction control and the the diff um, and then that's it that's all you get you know that's literally all you need you can take it to the track take it home be comfortable um and not need anything else one of my favorite parts about this car um is the dash and we're gonna take a look at the startup check out how this starts up so we go here press the clutch in this is the start button you see how it illuminates look at that it wants you to start it <laughs> here we go Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. You feel like you're in a race car just because of this. You can modify this side, you can modify this side, and then check out when you put it in sport mode. And then when you go back to normal mode, it goes back to this normal one. It looks so dope. You feel like you're a race car driver just because of the dash. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite features about this car. Then in front of that, we have our steering wheel. Here, we got your volume control, voice commands. Here's how you adjust the different screens. 
Um, you got your back, you can see, like that. You can move this around and switch it and do different settings. Look at that, you got your boost control, not boost control, but your boost uh, meter. I just love this. Then on this side is all of your cruise control. Uh, you got radar cruise control. Uh, it's actually like keeps your keeps you in the lane. Um, I feel like that's pretty cool. Uh, next track, previous track, uh, different modes for I, I believe. Uh, oh no, this is for the radio. Different mode for the radio. This is different mode for the um, for the radar cruise control. Then over here we have your intelligent manual transmission. That's for your um, automatic rev matching. This is for the uh, windshield wipers. This is to reset your trip odometer, automatic high beams, and then this is how you adjust the brightness of uh, all the lights on the door panel. You know, pretty simple. You got your um, window switches, lock, unlock. This is to lock the window. This is to adjust your mirrors. In the center console here, we got our different driving modes. You push it up, you go into sport mode or custom, you push it down. You can go into eco, your traction control, sh shift knob. I don't like the shift knob, I wanna change it. I feel like Toyota should have done the uh, Marizo edition uh, shift knob or that, that weighted shift knob. That, that would have looked 10 times better than this. This just looks like basic. <laughs> All right, and then you got your different driving modes here. If you do it this way, you go front bias. If you do it this way, uh, you do rear. If you push this, it's 50-50, and that's the GR4. One complaint I do have is that there is no shoulder rest here. They removed that. Um, over here, we take a look at the AC. Temperature control, you can set it to auto. Um, turn it off, uh, front defroster, rear. Then you have your uh, different modes for where you wanna um, put the car, the AC. And then you have your eco for heat slash cool. I don't get that button yet. <laughs> I don't know what, what it does or what, I don't know. I have to read more into that one. This is to circulate the air inside. This is to get air from the outside. Um, AC, so it's cold. This is how you control the fan speed. And that's it, that's all you need your hazards, your um, Toyota display here. To me, it looks pretty good. I do wish that they made it bigger though, because it kind of does give the final, the impression that it is bigger, but it's like when you turn it on, that's all you get. <laughs> and then you do have Apple CarPlay with this. Check it out, that's how Apple CarPlay looks. No complaints on this. It's very, um, very, how do you call it? Very sensitive, well, not, not sensitive, it's not sensitive, but uh, you know, it, there's no lag really that I've noticed at least there. So overall, um, I am happy with the car, with the interior, with the exterior. I feel like on the inside, it's very, like I said, it's very simplistic. Um, this is all you need. AC, you you know, there's no dual zone climate control. There's no heated seats, at least in this one. I feel like it's, you know, if you live up north and uh, it gets cold up there, it might be nice to have heated seats. Uh, but for, for down here in Florida, at least for me, eh, it's whatever. Um, honestly, some people say it feels cheap um, to me. Personally, I've never really bought a new car. This is my first new car. So it, it doesn't feel cheap to me. It feels like a Toyota, honestly. I mean, Toyota has always been like, if you if you ask me, you know, what do you think when you think about Toyota? This is what I imagine. <laughs> now, if we said Lexus, that might be a different, you know, a different picture in my head but this is literally what a Toyota is. Like I've gotten in plenty of Corollas, plenty of Camrys. Um, my mom has a RAV4. 
um, and a uh, Toyota Tacoma and they all feel the same I mean yeah some of them have leather uh, but I don't know leather it's like here in Florida it gets hot you might burn yourself it's like whatever <laughs> um, and I just can't imagine these seats in like leather I don't know why I feel like they would look weird Mm, that's just, that's just me though. I feel like they focused on the right on the right things on the right things on the right things. For example, the dash. That's a thumbs up. They folk they did a good job with that. Good good job. See, you got your different uh, modes for you know for you to play around with. Different driving modes, traction control, and that's it. That's all you need. That's all you need to drive. That's all you need to, you know, take this thing off-road if you want. You don't need anything else. This car literally has everything as far as like safety features. You have your blind spot monitoring, frontal collision warning, uh, lane departure warning. You have um, uh, rear cross traffic alert. Um, you literally have everything as far as safety features. So Toyota, I feel like they put just what they needed into this car. Now let's go back uh, to the rear seat and take a look from back there. All right, so I'm in the back seat. <laughs> there is not that much room back here. <laughs> I would not recommend anybody sit back here if you have a tall person driving up front or a tall person sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, I consider it to be pretty short and this seat is all the way back and just check it out. There's like my knees are touching. Can't really see. Let me see if I can see. Now, if we scoot over, over to this side, let me just move this stuff in the middle. Nope. You absolutely cannot fit th five people in here. At the very most, I would say three. I mean, not three, I would say four. All right, we move to this side. That's my driving position. As you can see, there is some uh, room here, about a hand from my driving position. I'm 5'8". There's none over there if there's a taller person on that side. Back here, you got your charging port. You got your 12 volt there. And then you have a uh, USB-C right here, as well as up the front over here, you have a USB-C right there. I don't know if you can see it, right there. Then in the trunk here, I do have the mats. These came with the car, but I got the all weather uh, mats, as you can see underneath here. Right there, see that's all weather. This is the normal underneath here, should be the normal one. And then underneath that is your um, inflation kit. Inflation kit, <laughs> your battery, little side. You know, I have a I bought this kit, it's the, the Toyota emergency assistant kit <laughs> just to put it in there, just because I thought it was a nice touch. You do get some nice room in the back to put groceries in. If you put the seats down, you get a lot more room. And yeah, guys, those are my thoughts. I think that this car is just what you need to go to the track, have fun, go home, and park it. That's it. You could, it's, a, it's probably all that you need for a daily driver. There's probably nothing else that I, I would probably change or anything like that. I feel like... You know, this is the core. The one that I got is the core. Um, it's got class seats. It's the entry entry level um, to the GR. Then you're gonna have your circuit edition that has like suede and I believe a little bit of leather. Um, and then you're gonna have your uh, Marizo edition, which is gonna be like full out like racing seat. Um, not racing seat, but you know, it's got the the little holes in here so you can put the um the like seat belts uh that the racing seat belts and things like that um and um they deleted the rear seat on that one rear speakers 
Uh, that was like a full full track car. <laughs> um, personally, I cannot complain about this interior. Honestly, I feel like it's a Toyota. Um, I cannot expect like a high quality, um, you know, top of the line. Like I don't know, you know. I feel like they were um, asking for like top of the line stuff and I feel like this is a Toyota this is what all the Toyotas I know of at least um, you know look like <laughs> could be wrong maybe I haven't gotten in like a 2023 Toyota Camry or a newer Corolla I don't know um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments I think that it's it's just it's a Toyota I'm ha I'm happy with it personally. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. Everything like everything. Uh, people are complaining about the hard plastic, but I don't know. I feel like that's just Toyota. <laughs> uh, there's no other explanation besides that. Um, maybe I'm missing something. Let me know down in the comments. Um, overall, I love the interior. Um, my favorite part is the dash, the different modes, definitely for sure and the manual transmission i like that they are only doing manual transmission um talking about manual transmission the next video is going to be uh, a point of view a uh, driving video uh talking about the drive and you know everything i just uh, just my thoughts sharing my thoughts on how the car drives how it performs and um stay tuned